I wrote to jam before I got into medical school and in the first I scored 256, in the second I scored 323 and actually worked hard in both exams, I actually did. But there's a huge difference in performance in the two exams and that is what this video is about. In this video, I want to share what I did differently in my second jump that made me outperform my first jump by a large margin. Ah, if you are new year in world, I'm currently a second year medical student of the University of Ibado and I make this kind of videos. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my subsequent video and click on the notification button. That said, let's jump into the video. By the time I was going to write my second jump, I was unbelievably knowledgeable. And it was still the same me who wrote the previous one that wrote the second. And the changes that happened between that first time and second time, I attribute them exclusively to these five main aids I'm going to discuss in this video. The first thing I think made me do very well in my second jump was that I had burning desire, I was really determined and I had a drive. 2017 when I wrote my first jump, I scored 256 after I, I believe I had worked very hard. I believe I deserved more. But when I eventually thought about it, I got exactly what I worked for. Then I also changed from medicine to biochemistry with the hope I would get admission and I eventually didn't get and it was really really painful and discouraging. I've made a full story of how I got into medical school. I will link it in the description below. You should check it out if you're interested. Then I came across some set of students which I believe were younger and they all got admission and I was so angry like if these people could do it then why can't I? I decided I was going to be hard on myself and I was so determined every day if I wake up every morning like it was just always on my mind that jam i have to ease this jam it was something that was like on top of my mind i had that burning desire all the time and it made sense because that burning desire and determination helped me do the hard things i did then because how else could i have almost completed four textbooks how else could i have almost completed the old past question how else could i have deprived myself of phone and tv and so many things just to ensure that i cover on what i needed to cover before the time for the jam. So this is my advice. You should be determined. You should have a reason why you are doing that and let that be your source of motivation. My own was that I was going to become a doctor and I was never going to let jam to stop me. So what is your second thing was that I had a working plan when I was preparing for my second jam. For the first jam, what I usually do was I read almost every day as well, but I would just wake up on each day, get my textbook and open to a random page and I will flip through the pages and read it passively. If the topic was too difficult, I skip it and I never get back to it. If it was easy, I read it. In fact, for subjects like physics, I ended up not reading them very much because physics was my most read subject then. Just by the way, there is a video I made on how I moved from being average in physics to having the extension in physics. It's also linked in the description below, but you should check it out if you're interested. So I was always skipping what I feel was too difficult and I was just reading randomly. I was not following jam syllabus or any guide. I was just working without any plan. I also solved past question when I was preparing for my first jam, but I was just picking random ones and I was picking the most recent ones. And sometimes, I, I don't know why I do that to myself, I was deceiving myself by checking the answers to the question before actually answering them. All these things, in my second jam, it's changed and this is exactly what I did in my second jam. The first thing I did was to get a jam syllabus and I told myself I was going to follow this jam syllabus. And on each day, I remember then I was on a job and I get back from work by 4 and by 4 p.m. I would study from 4 p.m. till 12 a.m. But I was not just studying, don't think I was studying straight, no, I was taking break obviously. I could take breaks for nap, I would eat in between those breaks. But that time is meant for studying and I was always indoor studying. Except if I need to do something else that is very important. I read from 4pm till 10pm and from 10pm till 12pm, it was, it was meant for past question. And what I tried to do, like my main goal to achieve each day was to read two subjects and I don't have to and then I don't necessarily have to finish the whole topic on each subject but we'll go to the jam syllabus and pick a subtopic and I'll go to the textbook and ensure I understand that topic that day 
and I'll do the same thing for the other one. And doing this, it helps me cover the old jam syllabus that I have an idea about almost everything. The third thing I did, which is like the most important thing I did when I was preparing for my second jam, was I studied actively. Anytime I was reading a chapter, I was always making sure I was fully concentrated. Unlike then, when I would be studying and watching TV simultaneously or studying in bed or studying when someone is talking to me, I tried to pay like 100% attention to what I was studying. Second thing I was doing was that I jot only points that are very relevant and I was not even writing them out. I was jotting it from my brain. That is one form of active learning because if I don't know it, I cannot jot it down from my head. Then most times or many times I realize I don't know the point, then I am forced to go back to the textbook. And once I do that, I never forget. Another thing is that I try to link things I've studied with things I've studied, related things I've studied before. And all these are active form of studying. Another one is that if I'm not studying, maybe I'm doing the dishes or washing my clothes or running around, I could just think what I read four days ago, can I still remember it? Then thinking about those things and try to recall them, it just helps me a lot and I realize things are forgotten, I go back to the textbook to check them. And the way I was doing this, by the time exam was closed, I have so much knowledge, everything was still fresh in the memory. I think that that's one thing you should also do too. You should learn to study actively and there will be a video very soon that is dedicated to active study. You should check out for that. So subscribe if you are not already and click on the notification button so as not to miss this video. The next one is that I tested myself. Like self-testing is one thing. It is very difficult and we tend to avoid it. It is very normal. But self-testing helps. There are a lot of scientific evidence that backs this claim of that testing yourself after studying something else. There is a tendency that you will want to deceive yourself into believing that I know this thing already so there's no need to test yourself. In my second jam, I was testing myself. After finishing a topic, I usually go to the back of the textbook to see questions and try some of those questions out. It was very hard to do all those things but I did it because I knew, I thought it was going to, I believe it was going to help and clearly it was helping me. I was seeing the effect of doing that. And the last one which is also very important was that I saw past question. The first thing I did was to get a note. I got like a normal 20 leaves note and in, on the note I labeled it from year 1990 something or 1980 till the year 2018. And the aim was to finish those years. I actually didn't finish it, but I did most of it. I was solving those past questions according to those years. When I was doing in the 90s, I was getting like very average scores, like 22, 25 over 50, 26 over 50. And as I kept solving more past questions, I saw myself, I could, when I look at the book, I would see that I'm already making progress. By the time I got to the 2000s, I was already getting 45 over 50. This was very, very encouraging to me. And one thing I was doing with the past question was that I was not just solving the past question. Anytime I solve past question, I make sure everything I feel, I know why I feel them. And the main reason I did this was because, and this is actually true, especially for science students. Science jam syllabus has not changed in like a long time. And if it has not changed, the questions are set from the same topics, right? And since the question has been, they've been setting it for a long, long time. That is, by now, there's almost nothing new they can set that has not been set before. And that's true because by the time I solved so many past questions, when I got to my exam, everything I saw were even simpler than the past questions. I went for my exam and I wrote the exam and gladly, I was so excited when I saw my results. I scored 323. And it didn't just end there because the knowledge I got from my jam also helped me. By the time I was preparing for my post jam, I didn't even work as hard for my post jam because I wrote UI post UME. I also scored very well, which I got admission to study medicine. And just that one experience, it has really helped me. Just preparing for my jam that once, it helped me in so many ways. Like, you are listening to me now, obviously, because. I'm currently in the position to tell you I'd score like 210 again then would you have listened to me let's be, let's be honest I'm just giving you this to encourage you if you've written jam before and you feel that it's 
I'm encouraging you that you can actually do very well. And if you've not written Jam before, some of these tips I've shared earlier, try to make use of them. I believe they will also be of help to you. And that's all for this video. Please, if you have any question, drop in the comment section. And if you want to meet me, if you want to be friends with me, please see my Instagram on the screen up somewhere here. Please, you can follow me on Instagram. I attend to DM. And if you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And most importantly, share this video with someone who you think will really find it helpful. I'm sorry, I'm kind of looking a little bit stressed. I just got back from class today and I'm stressed. I just thought, let me make this video now and let it be out of it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.